All right, welcome to um, my episode of Forbidden Legend. This was a request by a friend. He's been having trouble with this uh, quest line, um, so I'm gonna help him out a little bit, best I can. Um, I hope he enjoys it. Hope everybody else enjoys it. And just so that you'll know what's going on, um, I am a red guard. I'm playing a red guard that has heavy armor, smithing, restoration, uh, one-handed, and block. And I have a little bit of archery too, but I use that very rarely. Um, so and so, I decided to play just a regular sword person. Don't know what you would call it, just a warrior, I guess. And uh, the first place that we're going to is right over here, Falgunther. Um, to get this quest started, I went into Dragon's Reach, and I went up to the second floor of the Jarl's quarters, and I read the book um, Lost Legends. Um, and then I took care of a couple of other things, and then came back here and fast traveled to Morthal because it's closest to Falgunther. So, without further ado, here we go. Uh, the Forbidden Legend is, it, it can be pretty difficult if you're not sure what's going on. Um, but the amulet that you that you end up um, putting together is freaking awesome. I, I love the, the amulet a lot. It's helped my characters out a lot. It gives you bonuses to stamina, health, and something else. I can't remember. I think it's Magicka. Or maybe it's just stamina and health. I don't remember. But it uh, gives you bonuses to them. So it's well worth, you know, going through all the hell of tracking down all three parts and then putting it together. I know I haven't been doing very many videos, but I'm still I'm working two jobs. I'm going to be starting a third job. Um, once I get used to everything, I'm still I'll I'll find time, even if it's only an hour a day, to make some more videos. But right now, it's kind of everything's on um, all crazy, crazy. My wife got injured at work, so I have no choice but to take up a second and even a third job. Um, on a brighter note, though, uh, just so that you'll know what I've been up to, um, I got myself a second monitor, so now I have a two-monitor system. I'm going to be, I plan on upgrading my motherboard to an i5 or i7, probably an i7. Um, and I'm very seriously thinking about getting an um, R9 series AMD video card, which has three, maybe four gigabytes of RAM on it. Um, but we'll see what happens. It might take me some time to get those. Bills have to come first. So here we are in Falgunther. Find a few dead people here and there. Whoops. There was a trap there. Don't forget about that trap. I forgot about it. It's right there. Let's check this dead adventure out. See what he's got for goodies. Eh, we'll just get that stuff. What the hell? Now supposedly there's a book on the floor here next to a dead adventurer. Here's the dead adventurer, but there is no book. Um, I do believe that the book is in the other room where you get attacked by, well, I'll let you see. Anyway, we're just going to check out everything, see what we can't find. Oh, look at that. Minor Magicka. Not that I'm going to use it, but... Need anything from him? All right, let's move on to the next room. Whoops. All right. Sorry. Whoops. Another trap. I forgot about it. Oh. 
Oh man, I don't have a sword. <laughs> that was, uh... Seri. She, uh, cast turn on dead. So he's running for his life. Take a healing potion just so that this dude doesn't kill us. There. Oh, yeah? You're gonna laugh? Here, laugh at that. <laughs> oh, another one. They're relentless. Ah, there we go. Oh, I wish I had decapitation. That would have been a decap. Definitely. I love decap kill cams. Good job, everybody. Um, the minimum the minimum level to start this quest on uh, this series of quests um, is level six so I brought my character up to level six just so that I could do this um, I don't have a lot of faith in um, Elder Scrolls wikis um, decisions on what level things should be um, like for instance Sunderhill or a Sunderstone cave. It says that the minimum level for that is level two, but uh, no, it, that, that doesn't work. If you're level two, you're gonna die. <laughs> Come on, get out of the hole. into the drink. There ain't nothing in here. Except a couple dead grogger and some dude. Some dark elf dude. Who perished. We'll take his ivory dragon claw. We'll take his diary. We'll take his robes too because I can get us some money. There's going to be a couple of droggers over there. We'll take them out. Dendar. I think that gives me a bonus to block. I think I'll put that on. Yep, block does 10% more damage with your shield. Okay, we'll put that on. What the hell? There's a trap there. I think it's poison darts or something like that. So we'll avoid that trap and we'll come over here and get this treasure chest. Potion to resist cold. That might come in handy against some of those restless droggers who like to use ice magic. My goodness. There we go. Yeah, we'll take all this crap. We don't need a ruined book. Nothing on that dragger. There's another dragger right there. Yeah. Plunge it right into his dead gut. There's another one over here. Oh, he's dead. This one. Nope. He's not dead. Yeah. My followers kill him too quickly. Uh, 
steel war axe. This one is nothing, he's dead. But we'll take his heralds. Oh. You wanna come day two? Oh boy. Dead. Oop, I get another level up. Yay, now I'll be level seven. Woohoo. But we'll save that in case I get into trouble. Uh, okay. For this puzzle door, you want to put uh, this one up. And then this one up. And that should clear the way. Oh, look at her. She's all bloody. My goodness. Oh, I think I gotta turn off sticky keys. There's gonna be a rock trap that comes over here once you get to this point. Hopefully, the dragger down there. No, he runs away. So he's gonna get away from the trap. That's alright, we'll take him out. Run, but you can't hide. Ha ha ha. That wasn't too bad. Three Draugr. I'll take his arrows though. I already have a bow. There's another Draugr in here. We'll take him out. Come here, Mr. Draugr. Let's drink our resist cold potion. Okay, there was two dragons in there. Sari, heal me. Where are you? Where are you, Sari? Oh, Seri, Seri one keeps getting stuck every once in a while. Is she over here? Where are you, Seri? Oh, let's get her over here. Um. Call companion. Thank you, Sari. Okay, so pretty much what we gotta do is we gotta open this up, and in here there's a puzzle door and another dragger. Any other draugers? Whoop, there's a trap here. Um, if you step on that plate, this will shoot some sparks at you. If you avoid that pressure plate there, you can just take that soul gem and then you don't have to worry about it. Um, pretty much what you got to do is you got to make this room the mirror image of the room that was in here. So you look in here first, find out which direction it goes into, and then over here... Let's see, let's do that. I can't remember. I just did it the other day. So it's snake, whale, hawk. Alright. Snake, whale, hawk. It'll close that door. So we'll open this up. Now the mirror image would be snake here. Whale here. And then hawk there. See if there's anything in this room worth taking. Nothing else. All right. Thought I saw some stuff on the bookshelf. Nope, nothing on the bookshelf. Then you come over here and you pull this chain, and the door will open, and you can come down here.
two dead spiders. Anything interesting? There might be more spiders. Oh, I better save it. I'm gonna save it right here because my game has a tendency of crashing and I don't want to have to do everything all over again. So I'll save it. I have a lot of mods on here. Oh, and there's gonna be six Draugr that pop up over here. So be prepared. Oh, let's take this potion. We'll take the leather strip. We don't need no linen. Ooh, Orcish Dagger. We'll take that. Alright, let's face these Draugr. Which ones are the ones that are going to pop up first? Right here. Alright. These joggers will pop up. <laughs> All right. See, this is what happens with Seri every once in a while. She gets stuck. So that's why I have to... Oh, she's fine now. No, she's not fine. She won't follow me. When she's in battle stance, she won't follow. So I just use the call companion, and that resets her. Seri is a mod that I got from Nexus um, called Seridwin the Intelligent Healer. And yes, she is intelligent. She knows what to do. She's very good. She can't. She doesn't completely save you 100% of the time, but most of the time she does pretty good. Um, the person who created her did an excellent job. I love Sari. I can't seem to get her um, quest line started. Never been able to, but it doesn't matter. You need to help her with something um, that involves where she comes from and Chaos Lords chaos lords and stuff like that but I've never been able to get her um, quest activated all right so let's take a peek at our claw and see what the uh, we have eagle eagle Dragon. Okay. So we'll go Eagle. Eagle. Dragon. save it one more time just in case something goes bad and we die. Nothing there. Uh, iron sword, not worth it. Iron helmet, 225, we'll take that. We'll save it right here in front of this door. Because there's something like, I think there's six Draugr plus the boss depth Draugr up in here. Maybe it's four Draugr, I can't remember how many. I lost count. So let's go find ourselves some Draugr. Wow, would you look at that? Once we climb up these stairs, I think everything... I think the shit hits the fan. Let's come over here and take out him first.
once we kill the boss, we tell Micro Baldurson or whatever his name is. I think his other. No, I guess they don't. Yeah, the rest of them all don't come to life. So let's see what Micro Golderson has. He has arrow, rid of ceiling, Golder, black blade. We'll use that sword definitely, and we'll definitely take the am the amulet fragment. Okay, there's a word wall in here too. Um, I think it's ice breath. I remember correctly. I don't remember. We'll check these um, dead Draugr though for anything that they might have. Three heralds. He's fair, kind, and careful. That one's empty. That opens that door. We can open this door. There is um, an urn, I think, up there. Did that close the other door? No, it didn't. All right. A coin purse and a burial urn. Pretty crappy treasure. The only thing good was that blade, which I will switch to. It absorbs health, I believe, which will come in handy. Absorbs five points of health. All right, all right. Let's blow this pop stand, get our word and our treasure. Ice breath, frost breath. <coughs> All right, let's go through here and see what we can't find next. There's a secret room over there in the beginning where we first came in. When we get back there, we'll open it up. I don't think there was anything good in that treasure chest, but we'll get it anyways. Because, hey, it's treasure. Here we go. Oh, that book. It's around here somewhere, I think. It was one-handed 
There it is. Fire and darkness. I think it was one-handed. Yep. One-handed increase. So, oh, I'm going to take it. When you come in through here, and this gate closed. Oh, that's why Sarah didn't follow me, because the gate closed her out. You come over to this corner over here, and somewhere around here the book will be. And that will give you a increase in your one-handed, which is awesome. Dead adventurer who's all burnt up. Oh, trap! Careful, trap! And over here is the see is the uh, secret room, and this is the way to open it here. I don't think it's trapped. It's an apprentice level lock. take the hunting bow. We don't need it. Now we can get out of here. Alright, and that will do us for this ep for this uh, section. Oops, here goes that trap again. Did it get somebody? Nope. That will be the end of this episode. Um, I'll start on episode two. Um, probably... Is it now? It's 11. I might work on it today. We'll see what happens. Anyway, let's head up back out to Skyrim. Save it. We got the first fragment of uh, Guthrie's amulet, or whatever it's called. Pretty productive for first episode. Back to Skyrim. All right. Well, I'll call it quits right here. We'll see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.